Hi everyone, this is Alison again and um, I hope you've all been busy knitting as I have. Now this was when I left you last time, I had finished the right hand side. I've then slipped seven stitches onto a stitch holder just like the back when I spoke to you. And then this time on the my left hand side here, but my right, um, because when, I'll just talk about that for a minute, because when you are looking at your garment like this and you automatically think, oh yes, that's my left side. Well, it actually isn't. What you do is you turn your garment around so it's, it's when it is going to be on you. So when the pattern says, sew up the left hand side, the, sorry, the right hand side, even I'm getting mixed up now, the right hand side, this is the one. It's when it is as though it's on your body, okay? So just make sure that you do it that way. And it then says to, it then says to pick up on your left hand side. So at the beginning of your left side. And that's what that one is. All right, but when we turn it around, this is your, to me, right side. So just be careful of that when you come to do it, all right? Now I've just got myself a bit tangled up here with the wool, but that's okay, we'll get that sorted. Now what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to pick up the stitches along the edge. Now see how that's sitting nice along that straight line and that is where you did your knit two together, knit one and your second stitch is actually under there and that's what we're going to be picking up, our first and last stitch. So what I've done is I'm just going to very quickly show you how I pick up. So I'll just backtrack a couple. All right. So if you're getting a big stitch like that, you go into it, knit that one, and because that's coming up into the line of our, our row that we're going to be picking up, it's one above, we're then going to go into that next stitch and knit that one. And what you do is you're actually going in to there. So there's two stitches on, the, on your needle. And then we're going to knit those two together. Now, when we come, so you'll see it now. When we come down to start this part here on our neckline what we're going to do is take those stitches off your needle and you're just going to slip them on a smaller needle because it makes it a lot easier to take off because we're now going to transfer them over to this needle here back onto this one all right and this is the one that we're going to be working with so just a little tip also when you're taking off and putting back on the stitches onto a needle when you're coming from your left hand side you then pick up and you go through the back of that stitch that means it's going to be in the correct line when you come to knit it all right so we're then going to pick that up going through the back of that stitch. If I'm going to take it back onto my right hand needle, I go through the front of that stitch and it still lines up correctly. So from the left hand needle, all right, coming onto the left hand needle, you go through the back and going to the right hand needle, you go through the front. Okay, so now 
what we're going to do here is we're going to knit across those stitches that we're on for our neckline. So that's the seven. And if you have a look there, that extra stitch that I put in is now closed over. There we go. So now, whoops, made that shake. So now we've got to that point. So that there is the stitch that lines up with this one here, which is our sec our first row. Rightio. So that's the one, that's the one that was on the stitch holder. That one there. And that row there, the one below, is this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through that stitch and then we're going to continue up if you can see a line going through there right through there that's the line that we're going to take all right so we just into this one which will then bring those two together oops And it's very easy to go into the wrong stitch, so just be careful. So when you do go in, when I'm going in to those stitches, it can be a little bit awkward, especially when you're using a bigger needle into the smaller holes. But this is the size 8, so even if you just use, work on that tip, and then you come through. But see how I've got the two stitches and that's your end stitch there. So we've got to pick up those two. And you've got to use the tip. As I said, it can be a little bit awkward, so just bear with me. Hold that nice and tight. Oh, this one doesn't want to come over. There we go. If you are having trouble, go to a smaller needle, then uh, set it back onto this one. All right, so we're just going to do it. This one is a little bit, once you get started, it then becomes easier. There's your two stitches. All right, must pick up two. If you didn't pick it up to, I'll show you what it's going to be like. So if you just picked up the one part of your stitch, when you go into it, it's going to leave a hole. And you don't want that to have a hole there, especially on your neckline. So make sure you go through the two stitches and keep going all the way up. It'll have on the pattern how many you've got to have. Rightio, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and one more makes 14 all right so that now we're up to where the shoulder we've sewn the shoulder now when you come to do the sewing up if you'd like to have a look on our tutorial it's got for this particular garment we've got the sewing up of the whole garment. So I just wanted to show you the neckline, how to go about the neckline. All right, so now we've got your back stitches and remembering when I take them off, I'm going through the back of that stitch. And 
And when you are knitting, it doesn't matter when you're doing something like this, and I'm saying to you, put it on a smaller needle, you'll find it a lot easier. It's what you are knitting the stitch onto, okay? So we're sti always knitting onto our right-hand needle. So that's the one that we've got to make sure is the correct size. So now, so that's a much easier to handle when you're going around. All right, now we're just going to pick up, I should say knit, into the rest of these stitches. And for me, I should have 54 stitches. And so really make sure that you have got that amount of stitches. All right, so me doing the extra small, I've got to make sure that I have 54 stitches. So now I've knitted right round, and this is my left shoulder. This is the one that I showed you earlier on with the markers. I've left them in because I haven't sewn in the arm as yet. All right, so I'll do that. That happens after we've done this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to carry on doing rib all the way along. So I'll just check that we've got the right amount of stitches first, and then I'll carry on doing that for five rows. And then when you finish, um, you cast off with rib. So you'll knit the first stitch, purl the second one, and then you will cast off that stitch. So your next one will be a knit stitch, you then cast off. You follow what the stitches are, and then you cast off that stitch. And remembering, you cast off very loosely at this stage. If you have to, go to a bigger needle. If you've got one, go to a nine. If you're going to think that you are a bit tight, it won't matter because going that one size bigger for your neckline is really important because you don't want to have any problems trying to get it over your head. All right, so if you're having trouble and you find that the rest of your knitting has been tight, casting off, then go up to the next size needle and you'll find your cast off a lot better. So just a couple of hints there. So enjoy. I hope you have found um, this um, helpful and um, enjoy your garment, wearing it. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Bye.